In this video I'm going to review a new plugin that I just tried called Pallion. This is an all-in-one WordPress image editor. You install it as you would install a normal plugin and you run it from within WordPress itself. So it allows you to fully edit your images or you can add new images. And there's so many things you can do. You can add text, you can add effects, um, you can add images on top of images, uh, you can add frames, there's so many things, so many possibilities. So this is available right now for $29. It only launched a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week or so ago. But um, if you link, click on the link below, you'll get to this page and you can read all the information yourself. You can add photo frames, add images, add text, add more images, add shapes. Then you've got element library, you can add icons, uh, free hand drawing, templates, layers. They've got loads of stuff in here. Let me show you a quick demo of this. This is my demo site, so the plugin is called Pallion. So the settings are pretty straightforward. I've turned everything on. So I've enabled all the modules. Uh, WebGL is enabled, pagination, I didn't really change and that. Let's get into the plugin itself. So I've already got some demo images in the library, so I'm going to choose Select from Library. And let's say this one for example. So now we're inside the editor, it looks like a normal photo editor. So from here I can crop, rotate, resize, I can use some filters, uh, do basic adjustments for brightness, contrast, saturation and hue. I can change the gamma, blend colour, uh, duotone effects, which is interesting, what's that do? Okay, uh, swap colours and do advanced edits. Uh, adjust blur, noise, and pixelate. That's pretty good. Okay, let me sh so let me see. So let's say I wanted to uh, rotate this image. Yeah, rotate right. So I can rotate it. I'll just move it back. What's this? Flip, flip the X, flip the Y. No. Okay, let's crop it. So please select. So what do I select? Oh, I don't think I'll get it. So crop there. Okay, so let's say I want to crop this uh, photo. So you go to, I'll go to freeform and I want to crop just this part here. I want to take out the, the other bits. So I want to crop that. So I've done freeform, click apply. Are you sure you want to crop the image? Yes. And there you go, the image is cropped. So I can save it like this so I can carry on and do some more um, uh, editing. So let's see filters. So I don't know what all this stuff means to be honest, because I'm not a big graphics person. Let's sharpen the image, touch. Um, okay, I don't really notice too much. Okay, let's see, let's make it grayscale. There we go. So now we've got a grayscale image. Um, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, and so on, the gamma. Okay, let's save this image. Uh, leave this file in the same image called 100%. File name, I save it as number two. Oh, sorry, not template. Save this image, or you can download it. Let me just save it. You can actually use this as a standalone editor, it seems. I did not know that. It's interesting. Okay, now we want to add a frame to this. So, let me see. So we've got four grunge frame options. <coughs> That's a pretty sweet looking uh, frame. Um, let me see. There's so many options here. Okay, some more uh, frame options. Plenty of options here, plenty of stuff to play around with. What's neon? Very interesting. Okay, so you can add text to your your um, image. So let me grab the text box and say, uh, "Welcome to the blog." I'll make it. 
Um, font size make it a bit bigger. And let's see in kind a of background color if we want. It's really like great background. How does that look? Welcome. Like I said, I'm not the best with the with the graphics and things. I'm going to get rid of that one. Oops, I'm going to go back to text. Okay, let me delete. Here we go. Let me move that one here. Okay, it's quicker to do it like that. So let's see what else we can do. We can add another image on top of the image. Let's do select from media library. And let's do this for example. Make it small. Put it in the corner. Um, we can do rounded corners. So that's nice. This frame is putting me off. Let me delete these frames. Can I delete it from here? There we go. Delete. I did too many frames. I was missing that too much. Okay, I did the same one multiple times by mistake. Let me just quickly see how quick it is to delete. And last one. Okay. So my image is here. I can change the opacity. I can skew the X and the Y. I don't want to do that. I can rotate. So you can see there's quite a lot you can do in this in this uh, this plugin, and, and for the moment it's only twenty nine dollars. Um, I can add shapes. Let's add a triangle. Oh, WordPress Plus. Okay. And then you can do an outline, you can do opacity again. I mean, there's a full demo on the listings. Once you click on the link below, you can get the full demo. So you can do uh, add more elements. So you can add brush strokes. So if you want to put, instead of having this box, you can add a brush, brush stroke behind it. And how do you do layers? There is a way to do layers. I just, is it just? I think I think you do it like this. So put the element behind the. Is that how it works? There is. Oh, here we go. All layers. I forgot how you do it, but there is a way to do layers. So you can put the image behind other images. But anyway, you can figure that once you buy it. But there we go. That's all in. All in one plugin. And you can edit to your heart's content, you can do as much as you want. And you're not paying a monthly subscription and you can do all the editing you want within your WordPress uh, website. And it's a really nice uh, plugin to, uh, to play with. Oops. Let me delete some of these. And yeah, I hope it, hope it helped you because um, uh, it's a really nice plugin to use. Let me delete this image as well. Delete. Duplicate. Show hide. Lock. A lot of options. You spend a lot of time just, just doing your images from here. It's really cool. Let me delete this frame. There we go. And this one, let me just leave it as it is. It's fine. Anyway, I hope you found it useful. I hope you gave a little insight into this product. You can really replace a lot of the Canva functions just with this one plugin. <clears throat> and you've got fully working version for $29. So anyway, look out for some more reviews. I've got a whole load of new plugins that I've purchased. So I'll be doing individual reviews and testing it on a real WordPress website. So I hope you find it useful. See you next time. Bye.